This is Mike from Digital Offensive and you're watching CTF Minute. This is where I go over new tools and techniques to help you not only in CTFs, certifications, but in real life pen tests. Today is episode 3. In this episode we're going to go over ways to automatically back up important files off your Kali machine out to the cloud in case you lose your data. Too often I get messages saying, hey, I lost all my data during my exam, or my cherry tree file became corrupted, or I lost these images I did. Well, today I want to help you stop that from happening. And this is how we're going to do it. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to our terminal and we're going to install our clone. So basically our clone will allow us to do remote cloning to a third party service. So if you don't already have our clone on your machine, we do an uh, app get install our clone. Now I already have our clone, so it's going to tell me I don't have no upgrade, uh, updates available. Not a problem. Once you have that installed, you're going to type in our clone config. And once you do this, we're going to choose N for new remote system. Now you do need to have a Google Drive for this to work. If you do not have a Google Drive right now or a Gmail account, go out there and create one right now. Pause this video and come back when you're done. So for those who already have their account set up, we're going to choose N for new. And we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Google Drive. Simple. Enter. Now, in this list here, we want to select Google Drive. Not Google Cloud Storage, but Google Drive. So this is option 12. Your option may differ depending on your version of our clone. So we hit 12 here, right? Most of these settings we're going to leave as blank. So client ID, we're going to leave that as blank. We're going to hit enter. Client secret, we're going to hit enter. And then here we're going to give it full access so you can read, write, execute all our files on our Google Drive. You can try to lock it down more, but if you do, that's on you to figure out how to get this to work. From here, we're going to leave the root folder ID as blank. I've tried to change this to other folders and I couldn't get the mount to work. So just leave this to blank and we'll figure it I'll show you a way to write to a certain file later on. Um, service account file, we're going to leave this as blank as well. Edit advanced config, we're going to hit no here. Now, use auto config, yes. And now this is going to launch your browser. Once it launches your browser, you can select your Google account here. And basically, it's giving you an API access to our clone. So we're going to hit allow here. We're going to get a success message. It may ask you to log in. If it asks you to log in, go ahead and log in. Basically, it's setting up an API call to your Google account. Now, some people may be freaked out about granting access to different tools to their account. That's up to you um, to decide if you want to do it. If you're really afraid of it, tie into you direct to your uh, Google account, create a dummy account. Anything that you want to do just to be able to back up your files. Uh, it's better safe than sorry to back up your files. I've read too many horror stories of people losing all that data. So we get success right here. Now we're going to jump back over to our clone. Configure this as a team drive. We're going to hit no because I don't want to give access to anyone else. And then basically it's going to grab the tokens. And what it's doing right here is it's auto configuring the config file. So the config file is now all set. We're going to choose number one here. Yes, this is okay. Um, actually, why? Sorry, this is okay, not one. And then from here, we're going to basically choose Q to quit out. So now this is already configured. Now once this is configured, we're going to basically create a directory. We're going to do make directory, tilde. Now the tilde is telling me to make it in my home directory. So the tilde brings you right back to your home directory for those who are not familiar with Linux. And we're going to call a file called OSP backup. And we'll hit enter here. Now, it's already going to tell me it exists because I already created this file. I already used this method to back up my files during my OSCP exam, so I wouldn't have this issue. So that file already uh, exists. So from here, we're going to mount this file. So we're going to use our clone mount Google Drive because that's the drive we created, the remote drive we created. We're going to mount it to our OSCP backup fi uh, file uh, folder uh, located in our home directory. Now, I'm using the, um, the ampersand here. Basically, you put this process in the background. So now that it's in the background, right? So if we look over here, you can see I'm logged into my Google Drive. 
and there's a file called me, right? So let's jump back over to our VM. I got a lot of VMs. Okay, jump back over to our VM. We're gonna cd tilde slash OCP backup at last. And you can see a listing of all my files in here. If we go to OCP backup in here, you can see that me file, right? Now we can RM me. And then me's gone. We can do touch me. And now me is there. All right. So now that we have this remote um, drive set up, now we got to be able to copy our cherry tree file over there. Now a cherry tree file, depending how you set it up, should end in .ctb. So my cherry tree trap, cherry tree file is actually located on my root so if i do cp slash root slash oscp notes dot ctb and i'm going to copy it to my local drive right here give that a second to execute now that file is pretty big so it may take a moment or two to actually transfer over all right so let's jump back over, see if the file's up there yet. And you can see that the OSP notes file is now up on the drive. So this is a manual process right here, how we copied that file over, but how do we automate this process? And to do that, we can use our cron, uh, cron job. So we can set up a cron job to auto execute this file um, to check to make sure the mount point's up. And if the mount point's up, then basically copy our data over to the drive and have that run every hour, half an hour, 15 minutes, whatever you wanted to run. Okay, so we just went through doing manually. How do we automate this process? And as I said, we're gonna use cron jobs to automate the process. So before we create a cron job, we need a script that's gonna run via cron to back it up. So I created a script called autobk.sh. So let's take a look at the script. So we look at autobk.sh and what the script is, right? Basically, you check and see if our clone is running. And our clone is basically our mount point, how we saw earlier. It's basically run the command, creating the mount. If it's running, then it's basically going to copy my file over to the share, call it back up with the current date and the current hour. That's CTB. And I do this so I don't overwrite existing files. Now, I have a 200 gig Google Drive. Uh, I paid for the upgrade. So I'm not worried about the file sizes. My current uh, cherry tree file is about 30 megabytes in size. If you are worried about sizing, then you can modify this script. After I do that, I have it echo out, backup completed at with the date command. So that gives me the date and the time and it puts it in a log file called auto backup.log. This is important because if the script's not running or something's happening, I can go there and check to see what's going on. If our clone is not running, then it's basically going to run no help. So basically, if I disconnect this terminal or lock out, it should still be running our clone, uh, no help our clone, and then basically mount the drive, my Google Drive, to the OCP backup file. So basically, I'll start up the our clone service uh, with the mounted point, and then basically echo into the file that there was an issue. Now, what else we can do here, which I didn't originally do, is we can then basically copy this. And what we'll do here, actually, I'm going to copy both lines here because we want to basically make sure it's going to run. So let's do a copy. Bugs. And let's do paste. So basically what I do here now is once it starts up the process, right, then it's going to do our backup. So we don't have to worry about it not running in that hour. So if it's not running, it'll start the service and then do the backup. And basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add this into our cron job so it's always running. Now we're gonna do cron tab dash E. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so that worked. Uh, I needed the spaces in between, so no problem. So now our cron job's installed. So what it's gonna do is every hour, it's gonna run my cron job and echo the file out uh, and then back up my other file to my cloud account. So now that we have the script, right? And we have our cherry tree automatically backing up. Let's actually show you what the script's doing. So we do cd slash var slash log and we do a cat of the auto backup that log file. You can basically see all the data getting logged into the log file. So we know the script's executing. 
Uh, we can see where the backups completed. We can see where it failed, and then basically then did the backups. Now let's uh, cd back over to our root directory and actually execute the script. So inside the script, I added a dash x. So in bash scripting, the dash x will actually show you the commands it's running. Basically, it'll allow you to step through and debug the program. So I have the dash x in there right now, just so you guys can see what it does. So we do bash slash auto exec, uh, sorry, auto that. Uh, auto bk.sh and run it. All right, so you can see that the R clone service is running. It's actually process ID 9343. 9343 does not equal nothing, so basically it's executing. So actually, let's kill this, right? Or we'll give this a second to run. So the script completed. So actually, let's kill the process now and do this again so you can see what happens if the process is not running. So we're going to do uh, kill. 9343, which kills the R clone service. So we do a P grep R clone. You can see R clone's not running. So now let's do a dot auto bk.sh. You can see that zero does equal zero. Uh, so the service is not running. So now it's running no help of R clone, put it in the background. It pauses for 10 seconds to give it some time to actually get the mount to complete. And then once the mount is complete, it copies over the file. So you can see the script runs. All right. And I got an operation not permitted because the other file probably just finished uploading, which is not a problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to vi the auto file again. I'm going to remove the dash x. And we're going to save the file. All right. So it's already in our cron. It's set up to run. You can see what the script does, walks through. Now, if we come over here, you can see uh, all the files up here. All right, so we're over here on our Google Drive, and you can actually see that the files are, have been uploading. Um, right here, you can see 19, uh, 2019.09, so 7 o'clock p.m. was the newest one that just kicked off. Uh, the script runs every hour, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, it is 7.01 right now, so the script did run and backed up our file. So you can see all the files go out to our Google Drive. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share this video out. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Hopefully this helps you guys. If you want to add any other files to your backups, just add them in the script and I'll back it up for you. Test out the script. Modify the script. I'll post the script in the uh, comments below. I'll put a link to that script. Um, and then guys, just give me a big thumbs up. Uh, it definitely helps keep these videos going. Thanks again. Have a good day.